Well, the Brighton 27J School District has tried and failed seven times to get voters to approve a mill levy override. The goal, of course, to fund higher teacher pay and school programs. Well, the community group says it's created such a disparity with other districts that operating 27J schools and providing kids with what they need to succeed just mm -hmm. is not sustainable. As Jeff Todd reports, they're enlisting those most affected to work for a different outcome this November. Gabriela Chavez grew up in Brighton. Now on a merit scholarship at the University of Denver, she's seen how different her public school education was from her roommate who went to Cherry Creek High. Just the difference in our knowledge, our foundation, our understanding of things is baffling. And yet Gabriela feels her younger siblings already have it even worse. There are not enough teachers in any of the schools. Um, I went to my sister's back to school like supply drop off and there were empty classrooms and there were a lot of new teachers. Compared to its neighboring districts, 27J receives hundreds of thousands of dollars less per student from local property taxes. And with another ballot levy override on the ballot, groups like the Rocky Mountain Partnership are using teens to push turnout for this election. What we have seen is that the community just doesn't have that awareness of the impacts our students and our youth are experiencing, especially through the educational inequalities. So a major focus will be let's arm these youth with the information so they can go in the community and help inform. Part of the effort is to get younger voters to engage and to clarify misconceptions about how much a mill levy override will actually cost, arguing it's just a few dollars a week per household. Voters have approved bond measures in the past, but advocates are concerned without more money, the new schools and programs won't have the staff. Jeff Todd covering Colorado First. That mill levy override on the November ballot for 27J would provide nearly $18 million a year. The district keeps growing. There are now 22,000 students.